ladies and gentlemen, it is officially my birthday. And because y'all are so awesome, I'm only $733 away from hitting my December fundraiser goal. So if you'd like to contribute, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and nothing but love for y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now let us talk about the weather. Here, we are seeing precipitation over the next 48 hours. And yesterday, to go see a friend's band during the day, I drove through heck and buttload buckets of rain. But it was a cool drive. But man, it sure rained a lot yesterday. And there's going to be a lot of rain for the south over the next few days. And then multiple storms coming into the west coast of the USA. All right, on Tuesday a.m., we're looking out for a possible cyclone with a cold core headed towards Florida. Floridians are tough. They have a harder time versus cold than they do versus rain. But you guys could be getting quite a bit of rain. And some models show this coming in at about tropical storm strength. Mike's weather page, afternoon 12Z runs are in here on tropical tidbits. Looking at some stronger storms spinning in for Tuesday a.m. It's something to watch for the Gulf. And so, yeah, be alert. Right now, it is tropical storm strength, yo. And one of the awesome birthday gifts I've been given is by the sun. Is the fact that the sun is waking up. Right now, I think we have six sunspots on the sun. And a potential for three more on the earth-facing side. So, that is exciting. And... Yesterday, we had an explosion on the sun. An active region emerging from the sun's southeastern limb exploded, producing a C6-class solar flare and a beautiful loop share prominence. It's like the sun showed up to say, hey, look, I got a glow up, or whatever that means. But yeah, you can definitely see a flare down here, and then bam, that flare over there. I guess this is more of a... Um, coronal mass ejection down here and then the flare at the top that's a pretty impressive impressive solar flare coronal mass ejection i might be a tiny bit hungover um we celebrated my birthday all day yesterday day and night and then ended with uh, food at cats's daily because it never closes so i'm a little off my game please forgive me okay thank you you guys are fantastic but yeah the sun is definitely waking up. and almost looks like a face. Look, hi. The sun is... But the sun doesn't look happy? Oh, no. Nah, I'm just kidding. I would guess the sun is way happier than it was like a year ago. Or definitely two years ago when we hit solar minimum. And we are now headed to solar maximum. I think we got a solar flux of 121, which is a solar cycle 25 high. And this is good news because, you know, when you get deep solar minimums, civilization kind of falls apart. But then when you get strong solar maximums, things improve because of the magic cosmic rays and light, love, and energy that comes from our sun. All right. We got two big Christmas stories coming. A Christmas Eve story. You got rain after rain after rain after rain, wave after wave of wave, like five days of rain for the West Coast, the United States of America, including California. And then you got a big Christmas Day warm up. And so we will definitely keep an eye out for any severe weather in between the hot and the cold. So that's usually how it goes down. And I do hope everyone does have a happy, wonderful, and magical Christmas this year. It's been a weird year, man. 2021 will definitely not be my favorite year of all time. BG Weather Brady tracking the two lows. One that'll be headed towards Florida, and then one that'll be headed towards the northeast over the next few days. This is on Tuesday. But we'll be tracking it, and Andy Hazleton says it's definitely solidly cold core. Europe is getting a, another Arctic frigid air outbreak on the way to Finland, the Baltics, and Eastern Europe. Temperatures are in free fall after the one-week mild period, says Mike Randonen. All right, this is where the video gets serious. Okay, we were tracking the third... Saturn square Uranus. The first one happened in February of this year. You get a giant cold wave and they shut down the grid and like 400 Texans died. The second one happened in June 
You had a giant heat wave over Canada. It was so hot, about a thousand people died. And so we've been watching the 24th to the 25th for the third Saturn square Uranus of 2021. And so I'm not surprised we're getting a heat dome. And then we'll be getting wave after wave of wave of storms in the West Coast. But what I'm saying is, you know, if, if we don't get hundreds of people dying, that would be a victory. But we are still going to stay on super red alert through Christmas, in my opinion. And unfortunately, over uh, hundreds of lives were lost in the Philippines due to the strength of Typhoon, Super Typhoon Rai. It's been a rough year, man. This is where I'm going to drop the heavy science on you. All right. We know that the Iceland volcano really started erupting, I think, at the beginning of 2021 in our 2021 volcano advent calendar. And then was it in September? The La Palma volcano really began erupting in La Palma off the Canary Islands and off of Africa. But if you'll notice, they are pretty much right in this, like this straight line here. And so... These two volcano areas have now both stopped erupting. So we are going to watch to see if there is any type of a magma shift. And if the magma shift were going to shift west, that would put it somewhere near Alaska and possibly the west coast of the United States of America. And then we're watching a, you know, we had that Oregon earthquake swarm with multiple fives up here. And we've been getting an earthquake swarm in the Gulf of California for like three weeks now. So we are definitely, especially with the gas giants on the same side of the sun, with all the weight over here and an imbalance, we're definitely going to stay on earthquake and volcano alert to see where that magma moves. All right. So we got a lot to watch and there's definitely a lot of precipitation that will be coming in through the West Coast over the next few days. And then we will watch multiple storms after that. But for now, you know, we will stay heavily focused on staying cool and just watching for any signs and signals leading up to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Now let's go down the rundown of, but you'll see here, you get some heavy rain coming in, but then, then that rain comes in. Watch, that's when around the 21st is when you just get nonstop rain from the 21st and then that doesn't end in the West Coast until the 28th. So you get pretty much like a week of rain all along the West Coast, which I think may cause some major problems. All right, let's continue to stay cool, stay aware. Thank God. And have a sense of humor when we can. But yeah, the CME is not Earth directed, so that is cool. And super duper thank you to Astro Fight Club. You guys have always been super incredible to me. I'm going to try and enjoy my birthday. I don't know what that means. Today, um, we did most of the day yesterday. But hey, I've only got $733 left to make my December fundraiser. If you guys would like to contribute, it would be greatly appreciated. I give you guys my all, all the time, nonstop. And the last two years have definitely been just knock down, drag out, fight every day. Know that I appreciate y'all and thank y'all very much. Um, I'd like to say thank you again to Asteroid Fight Club. Thank you to Greg. Thank you to the Wizard of Oz. Thank you to Anita. Thank you to Stephanie. Thank you to JJ. Thank you to Charles. Thank you to William. Thank you to Roxana. Thank you to Rod. Thank you to Darlene. Thank you to Dave. Thank you to Jason. Thank you to Carol. Thank you to Patricia. Thank you to Robert. Thank you to Barbara. Thank you to the Goods. Thank you to the Texas Angel. Thank you to Mist. Thank you to Andrea. Thank you to Alexis. Thank you to Max. Thank you to Lauren. Thank you to Richard. Thank you to Glenda. Thank you to Arnica. Thank you to Light Soul. Thank you to Dan. Thank you to Marlena. Marlita. Thank you to Brian. Thank you to Ann. Thank you to KJ. And I always get humbled and super duper grateful every time I read the list. So thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. And I'll probably talk to y'all in the near future because that is what I do. God bless everyone. Have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a safe New Year Eve.